you have not added on our brushes. Again, they're hanging out on jasonsecrets.com. There are two videos that will basically walk you through how to install them. So just be a lookout on either YouTube and or on our website. And the idea is that you can save your brush library so you can get to them at any point. So what we're going to basically do is, if this is the first time, a little brushes 101, anytime a line is kind of floating out, so we're looking at the edges here, and so what we're looking to do is taper as they float into open space, and as, as lines touch each other, that's where they should start to fatten out. So what I want to do is just duplicate out our inking. I think it's just a good little habit to get into. Let's just hide our layers here. And you can call this layer brushes just so you can find it layer. All right, let's start adding on. And again, all I'm looking for every single time I click on it is what edges are connecting or if I just want them to blend in a little bit nicer. So those would be the two reasons that I would be doing some tapers. All right, so that's gonna be tapered on both. Bridge in the nose, the bottom of it is connected to the top, so it's gonna go fat to skinny. You will notice that I give you two different options, and that's just so you can bounce back and forth. It saves a lot of time. All right, it's gonna go fat by the eyebrow. It's gonna go fat. I think this one's gonna go fat on both ends. This one's going to be tapered on both ends. That'll be fat on both ends. Fat to skinny. This will go fat on both ends. Fat on both ends. It's going to go fat to taper in the middle. Good. It's going to go fat on both ends. This is These both are going to go taper. I say fat to taper. Fat up by the brim. This one we can just fatten up. Tapered on both ends. I say fat on both ends. Fat on both ends. Good, good, good. We're cranking, guys. I say fat on both ends. Let's do a taper on that one. Let's go fat on both ends. Okay, bottom of the brim. Now I'm going to go tapered on both ends just so it lines up a little bit nicer. I'm going to go fat to skinny on that one. Now for headphones, most of these I think are going to just get a little bit fatter. Maybe we'll do some fat on fat on the top. Fat and both of those will be fat on both edges. And just be aware of how they are connecting so if things start blurring or if you need to modify, especially as you were adding uh, much thicker lines, just be aware of that. So the strokes you might need to modify, most of the time my anchor points and the anchor point guides are actually done after I have applied the brushes. So they should be pretty accurate unless I modify them on my uh, second or third go around here. These are going to get silhouetted out. So what I'm really looking for is if anything is going to be silhouetted out, most of those lines aren't going to matter as much. But any of those outside edges, uh, those will still show up. So this one is going to go tapered. Okay, I think we are looking pretty good. All right, so last little boogie check here. So things you want to do before you... Uh, do the next step is you just want to double check that everything is where you want it to. Also just double check the thicknesses are kind of how you want them. Other little things you want to be aware of is the edges of all of your brushes. So you want to make sure there's plenty of overlapping 
and nothing is left short. So especially with edges that are fat, that is what you are going to be looking for. So if you say everything looks good, let's duplicate it. Notice I'm locking that one out. That's the one I definitely go back to the most since it is, we do a lot of the heavy lifting with that one. So we are going to expand and now we are going to be deleting using the eraser tool. So I can get rid of all of these extras. So before I would expand, I would just double check that yes, everything is where I want them to be. And let's just kind of walk you through how easy this is. I'm going to basically speed through it and just give you what the, the end result is. I don't think it's good TV watching watching me erase things. But I'm, all I'm doing is using black arrow, select it, shift E, which is our eraser tool. You can see it highlighted up next to our scissor tool. So I'm just selecting the line and I am going to erase any extra. So things that we are looking for is what's in front, what's behind. So anything that's going to be behind, that's obviously going to get erased. And then if I want to really zoom in, that will make your life a lot easier. So I've already gone through, I've already deleted things. So what I might want you to do is just pause, double check that all of your lines are erased the way you want to. And then you can move on to the next snap. I'm going to make our lines blue and then I'm going to send them to back. I am then going to grab everything. I'm going to deselect those whites in the eyes, by the way. We are going to basically do our live paint bucket and then call it a day on this tutorial. So we are going to unite all of the black first. So open up your Pathfinder. Unite all of your black. I'm just double checking. A lot of times your colors will be a slightly bit off, especially with those... The, the, the brushes, so just be aware that you might have to come back, expand, you might have to hold down shift with the magic wand tool. And then we are going to go over to live paint bucket. And I'm just rearranging so things are in order. I want the blue lines to be behind the black, and then I want those whites to be filled in. So notice that after we had expanded our lines, I do need to send those blues back. All right, live paint, make, and then all we're going to do is just crank through all of our black. So I'm going to go K, K is our shortcut, select black, and then it's going to be very similar to just a coloring book, super, super fast. So we're going to go all the way through. On this one, we're just going to be doing our blacks first, but anything that you think is going to be filled in, just go through. You might want to zoom in just to double check that everything is highlighting the way you want. Again, K is the shortcut. Okay, so let's end it here. On the next tutorial, we're going to be adding on our colors. We're going to be adding some stuff to our palettes. We're going to be adding our drop shadows and cast shadows. And then we're also going to be adding on some uh, transparent gradients. So this is, we're all done. Hard part's over. And uh, I will see you on the color demonstration next.